Rush roll, not turning on a Shark NV500. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to replace or bypass the micro switch on a Shark NV500. Now the first thing you have to do is actually determine whether or not it's the micro switch that is the problem. Now in my experience, it's actually been more common for the micro switch to be the problem Com as compared to the um, the power switch or the um, the main power switch for the brush roll. So that would be this one here. And I actually have a video that details how to replace that switch if that's your problem. Um, also, it kind of applies for the main power switch as well. So, but in order to determine if your micro switch is bad, you wanna actually run a meter. Um, you wanna meter your power output um, down here at the bottom of the machine and that would be these prompt these openings here so let me show you how to do that okay so if you you've, if you have a multimeter then what you're going to do is you're going to set it to um, ac volts and you're going to stick your contacts into the outside the two outside ones and then when you turn the machine on right now it's actually showing a little bit of voltage because it's plugged in um, so you turn the machine on and it'll probably give you about five volts. And when you turn the brush roll motor on, switch on, you'll see 116. So you want to, you want to see, get a reading between 110 and 120 volts. Um, so that tells me that the power output down to the head is good. So in this case, we're going to um, replace or bypass the micro switch. So um, basically what happens is the micro switch is responsible for turning off the on and off the brush roll motor when you put the machine in the back position. So basically uh, when you put it in the upright position, it should, this brush roll motor turns off. When you put it in the back position, the brush roll motor turns on. So you can see this is, this is the micro switch and you know, so it's off and then on and a lot of times they'll get stuck and then they'll just fail. So, um, you wanna get a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. And you can take, you go ahead and take your screws out here. You've got one here. You can take your little front wheels off, just pry those, pop those off like that. And then there's some screws behind there. So take all your screws out except do not take out these screws. These are just holding your wheel axles in, so you don't have to take those out. And then there's one more behind this. You just have to make sure these are both unlocked. This lifts up and then there's a screw back behind there. Okay. <clears throat> and then flip it over and then this should lift out as it lifts out there's a little power there's a little headlight plug and you can unplug that so you just pop this off okay so now that you've gotten into your cleaner head here you're going to locate your micro switch which is right here it's usually green um i don't think i've ever seen them any other color but so you grab a screwdriver and take the little screw out that is holding this little switch holder in place and then what you can do next is is you're going to um, take this the red wire nut off and so you can take a pair of flat nose flathead and you can take that off and then you're going to disconnect that wire and then you're going to want to um, snip this wire this is the red wire that goes to the board so you can actually cut that um, like I did there and I've actually got it stripped off already because I just wanted to do a test before I recorded it just to make sure that that was actually the problem. Um, now, so once you've got this out, you've snipped that and then you've taken this off the wire nut. Now you can actually take this switch out and if you ordered, ordered one, then you can just simply take this screw out. This is a number one Phillips head screwdriver. You can take this screw out and you can pull the switch out. Just pay attention to how you have that, the wires um, in there. Take a picture if you need to. And then you can get your new switch and 
reinstall it. Um, so you may or may not have to solder. I'm not sure exactly how. It, it just depends on how your switch is going to come if you order one. So and in, in that case, you know, you can strip your wires back and put some wire strippers and then you can just wire nut everything together. Now in my case, if you're going to bypass it, which is kind of the quickest way to fix it, and what's going to happen is this is eliminating the feature of it turning the cleaner, this motor off when you put it in the upright position. Now you still can turn this motor off manually up at the switch that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So in, in many cases, people don't really care that they lose that feature. And so um, it's a little cheaper option. And so it's kind of a, um, just, an, just another option. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the, the wire coming out of the board, the red wire, and then you're gonna strip that back. And then you're gonna, you already have this, this wire will have already be um, open, um, openly stripped. And so you're just gonna twist those together and grab yourself a wire nut or a butt connector or something and i'm just going to put a wire nut on there and then um, i'll go ahead and uh, make sure that your wires are still routed correctly you don't want uh, wires hanging out everywhere um, you can tuck them down into this area um, there so that they kind of stay out of the way now get your hood um, and put it back on. Make sure you plug this light in, this light bulb plug in. Make sure that these are installed first. And plug this cord in, and then just drop your hood straight down on the top. And then you can, I usually just put one screw in right in the middle, right here. And then I'll test it real quick. All right, so now that you've tested it, you have a functioning vacuum again, so congratulations. Go ahead and put your screws back in and you are good to go. So I hope this was helpful. I hope that it was valuable information for you. And if it was helpful to you, please comment in the comment section and also drop a like for me. And then um, I also do this for a living, so if it was valuable to you um, and you would like to say thank you uh, in the form of a tip, then I also have a uh, PayPal email address that is down in the description if you want to throw me a couple bucks. So thanks a lot. Have a great day, guys.